What's up guys? I am back with another video and I'm showing you three Halloween looks from easy to hard. If you guys want to know how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. For Halloween look number one, we're doing scratched eyes. This is skill level easy. If you want to do something quick for Halloween, this is the perfect look. To start off the look, I use liquid foundation and then set that with the powder foundation. I will list all the items I'm using for this video in the description below. I'm going to contour my face using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm contouring my cheeks, my forehead, bridge of my nose, and my jaw. I use some shimmery eyeshadow on the bridge of my nose just to give me some highlight. Next, I just put black eyeshadow all over my eyes just to give me that dark eye. And guys, you do not have to be perfect with this. This is a Halloween look. You can be as creative, as spooky, as messy, as neat as you want. I'm also going to take the same black eyeshadow and just fill in my eyebrows. And now here comes the creative part. Just start drawing a bunch of lines on your face. You can have as much or as little as you like. Remember, it's a Halloween look, so just have fun with it. To make the lines, I just used liquid eyeliner. I felt like this look needed more smokiness, so I just added more black eyeshadow underneath my eyes just to give it that more dark look. Here, I'm just using some blush. You can use any blush you have. On my lips, I'm using ColourPop Matte Lipstick. I think this is in the color Lax. I'm not too sure, but I will definitely have it in the description box. I'm using Coco Goddess Lashes for my falsies. And that's the finished look for look number one. The second Halloween look is the Katarina Vera Skull look. This is skill level medium. For my face, I am using white face paint that I got from Walmart. I do not advise you guys to use this paint that I got from Walmart because it was super cheap. I had to use multiple layers of white paint just to get it the way I wanted. Right now, it doesn't look right, but eventually through the video, as the paint dries, it does look a lot better. With black face paint, I'm just drawing a circle around my eyes. While that's drying, I'm just drawing weird squares on top of this circle that I made with a gel eyeliner. And with the liquid eyeliner, I'm just tracing over the squares that I made. Between each square, I'm just drawing lines coming out and then just drawing little dots in each square. With the eyeshadow, I'm just drawing a squiggly line from the corner of my lips to my ears. This is where the stitches will be. With black eyeshadow, I am going to set the black face paint just to darken it. I'm also going to smoke out the little lines in the boxes around the circle. 
with the same black eyeshadow i am going to draw the little skull that goes on your nose and fill that in with a black face paint To line my lips, I'm also using the same black eyeshadow and I'm also using liquid eyeliner to make my little stitches around my lip. All I'm doing is just drawing dots around my lips and connecting them. Since I don't have any black lipstick, I'm using the same ColourPop lipstick that I used on my first lip and then just setting that with black eyeshadow while it dries. And then you just created black lipstick. I'm going to use the same black eyeshadow and just fill in my eyebrows. And just use the same black eyeshadow just to smoke up my eyes. Oh, and I also use black eyeshadow to set in the black face paint that I use on my nose. For lashes, I just use wispy lashes that I got from Walmart and I'm just using top and bottom lashes. And as you can see, the bottom lashes is not actually on my lash line. I put it a little bit lower. And I'm just taking the same black eyeshadow and just giving me some shadow around my face and just anywhere that I feel like it's needed. For my hair, I just teased the bottom of my hair just to give me more of that crazy look. And that's the complete look for number two. For the third Halloween look, I am doing the Crack Doll and this is skill level hard. To start off this look, I'm using a white eyeliner pencil and this is just basically where the crack is going to start. Because I didn't like how the white face paint that I got from Walmart was setting on my face, I decided to use a primer and I'm using a white eyeshadow primer all over my face. And on top of that, I'm going to use the white face paint. To set the face even more, I did use a translucent powder and because I mixed the primer, the face paint and the translucent powder, it made this crack face which went perfect with the theme that I was doing. So with the beauty blender, I'm just pressing it against my face and that is what's giving me more cracks. When my face is actually showing, I'm using a powder foundation to give me more of a smooth face. With a liquid eyeliner and a pointy brush I'm just going to outline where the crack is just to give it more definition. And to give it that more cracked look, I'm just drawing little squiggly lines.
and where I created more cracks on the other side of the face I am going to darken it just to give it more definition as well with brown eyeshadow I am going to fill in my eyebrows on my eyelids I did use a dark brown eyeshadow you can use any dark brown eyeshadow that you have on top of that I use a shimmery gold on top which made this very shimmery green color I am going to highlight my eyebrows with a shimmery bright color and line my eyes with liquid eyeliner for the corner of my eyes I'm using the same um, highlighter that I use for my eyebrows and I'm going to bring it on the bottom of my eyes and use that gold shimmery color that I use on my lids on the bottom of my eyelids as well I am going to contour my face and use a blush to give me more of that doll look. I am going to use a translucent powder just to sharp up my uh, contour. The same shimmery eyeshadow that I used for my eyebrows and the corner of my eyes, I did use as a highlight on top of my cheeks. For my lips, I'm using a red lipstick that I got from MAC. And this lipstick is from my girl Riri. For my hair, I did push my hair all the way to the side to give me more of that elegant look. And I also used a white eyeshadow primer all over my neck and my ears. To give my face more definition, I did add some shadow where the cracks are with a black eyeshadow. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed all three of my Halloween looks. If you did, don't forget to like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and let me know which Halloween look was your favorite look in the comment area below. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!